chair recognizes the gentleman from California. I yield as much time as he may consume to the sponsor of the legislation, Mr. Kilmer from Washington State. The gentleman is recognized. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. I, I thank the gentleman for yielding. Uh, Mr. Speaker, my legislation would make technical corrections to a 2008 law to reflect the renaming of the Bainbridge Island Japanese American Exclusion Memorial. I would also like to thank Chairman Bishop and Ranking Member Grijalva, as well as Chairman Hastings and Ranking Member DeFazio, for their efforts to move this legislation through their committee and ensure that Congress is properly recognizing this memorial. The Consolidated Natural Resources Act of 2008 included the site now known as the Bainbridge Island Japanese American Exclusion Memorial as a unit of a National Historic Site. The memorial was established to recognize the historical injustice that was committed against the Japanese American community on Bainbridge Island. In the wake of the surprise attack on Pearl Harbor facing fears about potential threats among people of Japanese heritage, President Roosevelt signed Executive Order 9066, forcing more than 120,000 people with Japanese ancestry to leave their homes, leave their jobs, their neighbors, their friends, and their communities. They were forced to travel great distances in order to be held indefinitely in one of 10 relocation centers. This order, now rightly denounced, first went into effect on March 30, 1942, when more than 200 residents of Bainbridge Island, Washington, were forced to leave their homes, gather at Eagledale Ferry Dock, and then were transported to a so-called relocation center. These individuals, many of them American citizens, committed no crimes, yet were deprived of their rights simply because of who they were. Just recently, I had the honor of visiting this memorial and meeting with local Japanese American survivors who were forced to stay at these relocation camps for years before finally moving back to their homes. They told me their stories. Some were just little kids when it all happened, no older than my daughters are today. Some were older, teenagers and young adults. The memorial tells their stories. The day I met with them, I heard their stories. Many of them were heartbreaking, the pain that they and their families experienced. Coming home to the family farm to find that you had to start over from scratch. In some instances, the painful reality, the constant reminder of having received a high school diploma from an internment camp. The challenges of coming back to a community. Some of the Japanese American survivors told stories of hope, of coming home and have, having had a neighbor take care of the farm, or of having many in the Bainbridge Island community welcome them back with open arms. While the particular stories are different, there are some basic realities. This is a dark chapter in our nation's history. We have an obligation to ensure that future generations remember what took place so that these mistakes are not repeated. Today, the National Park Service manages three national historic sites related to the Japanese American incarceration. The Bainbridge Island Japanese American Exclusion Memorial, which was included in 2008, is the only site administered by the Park Service that commemorates the forcible removal of Japanese Americans. In April of this year, the Bainbridge Island City Council and the Bainbridge Island Metropolitan Park and Recreational District, which jointly owns the memorial, officially renamed it the Bainbridge Island Japanese American Exclusion Memorial. In order to eliminate any confusion and ensure that the official name of the site is formally, formally recognized, H.R. 4751 would update the law to reflect the renaming of the Bainbridge Island Japanese American Exclusion Memorial. Not only will this name properly respect the unjustified and discriminatory treatment faced by this community. It will also bring greater attention to the beautiful site commemorating this difficult history. I want to thank the many local leaders and community organizations who have worked on this for so many years. I am hopeful that we can move this effort forward for them, for our ancestors, and for future generations. And I yield back the balance of my time. The gentleman yields back. The gentleman from California reserves. The